Bitcoin is on its way back towards all-time high, more than likely. This morning on stream, Bitcoin broke above $49,103, which was our yearly high that we set the day after the ETF launched. And Bitcoin breaking that level rallied $900 in the span of our about 70-minute stream, all the way up to $50,000. But there's a couple of issues. Number one, the level of $50,000 is ridiculously strong. Someone in chat said that there was nearly 500 Bitcoin worth of sell orders sitting right there at 50 grand and bitcoin is going to be trying to break through fifty thousand dollars right now as you see this as i'm recording bitcoin the last i checked about 30 seconds ago was it 49908 it's trying to break through fifty thousand dollars and i want to talk a little bit about what may happen if that occurs so let's back up over the course of four months, Bitcoin rallied from $25,000 all the way up to $49,000. And when it hit 49, everybody that bought at 25 said, yippee, and they sold their Bitcoin and Bitcoin crashed for 14 days, dropping 22% down to $40,000. Actually, it was about 38.7. Bitcoin then went through a bounce, moved into a symmetrical triangle pattern with a price target at 48. And guess what happened? Bitcoin went to 48. This morning, Bitcoin broke above 49,103 and rallied all the way up to 50. All right, in 20 seconds, you're caught up on the last six months. What happens from here? Well, Bitcoin needs to get through 50K because if it does, there's basically no resistance left all the way up to 69,500, which is the all-time high that was set on November 10th of 2021. If Bitcoin can break through 50K, therefore, there is going to be an absolutely gargantuan rally, and I do believe that that is what's going to happen relatively soon. The fact that Bitcoin is sitting up here at $50,000 for hours on end now indicates to us that there is an exceptionally large amount of buy pressure that the bulls are exerting on the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency markets. And I do believe that Bitcoin is going to be able to smash straight through $50,000, but it may take a little bit of time. A couple of reasons, though, why I think it may be sooner than you might expect is because Bitcoin was able to smash through 49,103 so easily. That was the level of resistance, again, that we set the day after the ETFs launched, um, the day after the ETFs were approved, the day the ETFs launched and started trading, <clears throat> Bitcoin broke through that and moved straight up to the next level. The velocity with which Bitcoin crossed the distance of about $900 from $49,103 to $50,000 was such a rapid um, rally. It was so quick that it shares with us the idea that Bitcoin has a lot of strength in the bulls. The bulls are very powerful right now. And if the Bitcoin bulls are able to rally us $900 in the span of about an hour and a half, then it stands to reason that if we break $50,000, then we'll rally even farther um, and relatively quickly. And so there's two major factors right now that we need to consider with $50,000, the bullish and the bearish. On the bearish side of things, there's a huge sell wall at $50,000. There are likely hundreds of Bitcoin of sell purchases, of sell orders lined up at the $50,000 mark exactly. I'm talking five zero. 000 and 00 cents. Um, right there at that exact level, there's a huge sell wall. We saw it on stream. If you go back on co uh, Coffee and Crypto this morning, you'll see it. There's just on the second chart, just over and over again, we hit it. And exactly on that exact number, not 50,000 and one cent, but $50,000 exactly, the buys are just getting eaten. There's just so many sell orders. Um, so the bears are very strong right now. But one of the things to keep in mind is that the bulls also have a ace up their sleeve. And that is the fact that many people enter short trades like eight grand ago. Many people enter short trades around 44.3 to 44.7. They didn't think they'd break above it. Um, and many of those short trades are on five to 10 X leverage. Um, we've rallied far enough that we're now getting into the liquidation zone for many of those even low leverage short positions where on the one hand, either people are going to realize this is hopeless and they're gonna exit. Or on the other hand, they have a liquidation price above $50,000. And if we start to break above $50,000, then you see a chain reaction. Because if you break above $50,000, then you've cleared out the mountain, right? You've broken the wall. It's literally a cell wall. It's a resistance wall built by cells, uh, cell orders. If you breach that wall, then you're into the city. It's much easier to go house to house than it is to breach over the castle walls. And so if we're able to get above $50,000, even for just a moment, then that shows that that one zone has been broken and you're going to start to see liquidation of shorts, um, which will lead to obviously the uh, the short traders having to cover their position by buying the, um, the asset back, in this case, Bitcoin, and that will lead to a major rally on Bitcoin. So with Bitcoin sitting right here below $50,000, this is a huge, huge opportunity for the Bitcoin bulls. It has not been confirmed yet. We don't know for a fact that we're about to break $50,000, but I do believe we're going to. And if we break $50,000, there's no other mass psychological level of, of resistance above us until you get to $69,000, which was the last bull market's all-time high. What that means is that if we do break $50,000 and the bulls are as strong as they are right now, which they seem to be exceptionally powerful right now, there's not a whole lot stopping us. Think about it like this. It's a little bit like you're on the blood plains of Poland, you are the Soviets, and you are marching tanks straight into Germany. It's the end of the Second World War. And there is one wall 
that stands between you and Berlin. Again, you're the Soviet Union. If you know your history, you know what I'm talking about. There's one wall, otherwise it's all flat land. Easy to run a Panzer through, easy to run a SU-76 through. Very easy land. That's what we're in right now. This zone up here above 49.103 is flat land. 50 miles an hour, you're running straight towards the target, which is 69K. There's one wall. It's at $50,000. If you break that, there ain't nothing left to slow you down. That's kind of where we are right now. There's nothing left to slow the bulls down until you get to $69,000. If Bitcoin breaks 50, you go back to $69,000, more than likely within two months. So we're going to pay very close attention here and see what happens. If Bitcoin does break above $50,000, you will be hearing from me on it because Bitcoin will likely be on its way back to all-time high. Back before we, we updated our prediction, when the ETFs were going to launch, we originally said, look, when ETFs launch, we are expecting within two to three months, Bitcoin back at all-time high. When Bitcoin broke bearish, and hit 49.103, started its downtrend. We put into place three different bearish price targets that Bitcoin could go to. Bitcoin went to the top one, so it actually hit one of our price targets. Then when we rallied, as soon as we broke 44.3, I said, look, we're bullish, we're going back to 50K. And from there, our original prediction that we're going to go to all-time high very quickly is in the cars. And so that's where we are right now. If we break above $40,000, I'm sorry, above $50,000, we are almost immediately going to rally back to 69,000. And it is actually very possible that we rally all the way to $69,000 before we even have the halving come in. The halving is about two months away. If we were able to rally to $69,000 pre-halving and the halving comes in, then that's where we're going to go parabolic and our price target for the later part of this year at $100,000 um, over in uh, August, September, October kind of area, which is where we originally predicted Bitcoin would be hitting 100K, comes to be a lot more... Um, comes into vision, comes into sight quite a bit more. So stay tuned, guys. Huge rally is coming on Bitcoin, and I cannot wait to see how you guys are going to perform during that bull market. I do want to let you guys know that I also do financial coaching. So if any of you guys want to sit down and talk about your finances or your crypto portfolio or how to get out of debt or how to put a budget, all of that, I love sitting down and talking with you guys. You guys can check the link in the description box down below for that. I've been working in cryptocurrency markets and I've been an entrepreneur for over six years now. Learned a lot, made a lot of mistakes. I'm standing on a pile of stupidity, but I've learned quite a bit from all of those mistakes. I've got some very unique experiences and I believe that I could definitely help you in that realm. So if you wanna learn more about finances, if you wanna learn more about how to build an investment portfolio in the cryptocurrency market and the right way to do it where you maximize your reward while minimizing your risk, then make sure to check out our one-on-one -on -one financial coaching with the link in the description box down below. And also make sure if you have not already to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned because we have a lot more content coming. I cannot wait to see how successful you guys are going to be in this coming bull market. And I want to see you guys store up wealth during this crypto summer so that you have something to fall back on during the coming bear market that'll likely start in about 18 to 24 months. Stay tuned. More is coming. Peace.